Ohm? You smell that? That smells like... That smells like heresy. The people in the comment section yesterday in their droves doubting the mighty Ohm. Oh, good. Good, it's the friggin' elders already. I can't even get through the intro. Forgetting about the elders a minute, people were speaking all sorts of untrue facts about the power of Ohm and his magic diddly impregnation hands, saying that there were women in fields completely unfazed as they give birth to fully grown human beings. How dare you doubt the power of Ohm? As you can quite clearly see, oh, as you can quite clearly see, that's a baby. That's not a full-grown human being. And then we'll never hear another word against Ohm again. Okay, fine. So, obviously, they were being born as a full-grown human being, which wasn't right at all. But now, baby. A, too young for addiction. I don't know about that one, Chief. Babies are useless. Babies, unfortunately, cannot work, which I'm not particularly pleased about. And they're also incapable of absolutely everything not to mention that when someone in the colony actually has babby be formed they won't just stand in a field while they're summing crops and spawn an entire human fully grown they now have to they now have to recover from it so everything is now truly realistic in the colony led by a magic glowing green man with a stick that heals people true realism now if you'll excuse me to go and club some elders oh my god there's a lot of them how many times we've got to teach you this lesson old man roasted Ohm, what was that pathfinding? <laughs> Tom, be gone. Zimmerer, be gone. Bonk hammer. Hammer, get out of here. We've also changed storyteller to Randy Random after a shooting star. I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, Randy Random, that is. I don't entirely know what the shooting star is. We have Hammer. Amaya Hammer, underground and mad surgeon. She's not... Very good. Oh. Turns out that thing they can just climb right over. Well, it's some sort of arcane technology unknown to us, so I thought thought we would just leave it as part of the wall. Uh, turns out, not very defensive. My god, they're all over the place. Okay, this is this is a this is a red alert. This is a real problem. Why are they doing this? They've just turned up at the base and they decided to smash things? Well, I don't think the baby's capable of combat, which is a uh, which is a shame, because we really do need all the help we can get at this point. Right, get him. Stroopers. Go for her. Cobra. Go for her as well. Come down. Kill. Oh, nice hit from Arcadius. Good shit. Go for Casey. Ohm, come down. Help out. Oh, God. Struppers is down again. Struppers, why are you not down? What happened there? What was that side power you were using? Healing touch. Self-tended. That is ex... What, what was that? Psychic anesthesia. Oh, that's not... That's not... That's not pain block. It was pain block. Oh, Bandra's down. <laughs> God, this is a this is a real massacre, huh? What a mess! Oh, the baby's crying. Well, they've set fire to the doormat. This is this is unsavable. This is irredeemable. The baby's no longer. Oh my God! What the fuck is that? Baby, turn around. <laughs> what the fuck is that flesh nugget? <laughs> okay, well once again, everybody's down besides ah uh, besides Ohm. Strooper is bleeding out in eight hours. Arcade is bleeding out in 11. Bandra's in four. Cobra's in six. This is... This is really not okay, Elders. My God, just retreat. Just retreat. Take the club. Take the club. You've got to start... We've got to start saving people with Ohm. Uh, specifically, Bandra first. Strooper is... Please get up. Someone shut that baby up. Hey, shut up, Nugget. Go. Get him. Get him. Oh, this is unbelievable. If you go down as well, I'll... I'll cry. Oh, good kill. Incredible. Right, go and look after your child. Child, go and... What are you doing? Wearing tribal cloth kilt. Yeah, please do. Oh. Oh, no. We have to take care of babies. What if we just, like... Like, don't, though? What's the downside to that? What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> uh, I guess the modded clothing is uh, a little bit... um. Oh, wow. Fine. Fine. Struppress is head of childcare. No, because you're also wardening. Well, what's the difference? Ohm can be in charge of childcare. Yeah, I like that. What are you doing, tiny baby? Meditating? No. No, no, no. I'm out. I'm done. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. Get in there. Kill them. Kill them all. Don't let me get close to the base. Kill them. Slay the lot. Is that a child? That's an eight-year-old. Why do they look so fucking cursed? 
Um. Oh. Oh my god, they disarmed home. We do have to be careful fighting these guys because they are still magic at the end of the day. Just, I just didn't pull that child's head off. Kit, 12 melee, 7 social. Could be a good backup warden. Workaholic, I like the sound of. She will continue to work, even sacrificing their health or sleep. Ha <laughs> ha, what an idiot. There was a side effect of the Great Yorkshire Terrier battle. Scratch scar on the left eye. Please. What curse have we bought on RimWorld? Cannot feed baby, no crib. Cannot prioritize, not assigned to nursing. Oh, shit. Hang on. Prioritize feeding the baby. Oh. 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 We have to build a crib. Right. Okay. Um... How do I do that? Baby crib. It's not under beds. Medieval era. Do we not have cribs? That could be a problem. That <laughs> could, could be quite a large concern. Crib. There it is. A cute little crib. Perfect for keeping a young child safe and warm at night. And preferably off of the kitchen floor. Oh, God. Shut up. Thank you, Ohm. Please feed the baby. Shut up, stupid baby. What are you <laughs> feeding it jerked meats? Is that human? Human jerky. Well, start them young, I suppose. <laughs> well, I had to sleep on the ground like an animal. Mortifying. I hope you won't let this happen again, Ohm, says the tiny baby. Please. Please, for the love of God, I cannot put up with this for another 30 episodes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. So we're very close to being able to recruit the majority of the prisoners we've currently got. The f fuck are you wearing? It can walk? Anyway, like I was saying, we are very close to being able to recruit a good chunk of our prisoners. So I've ordered up a, a little bit of an expansion on the base here. We can't put over here because that's soft sand, but we're really pushing what we can contain within the first area of the city. So we might want to start linking up buildings. We might also want to start expanding outside of these kind of main walls, setting up another another area, another perimeter. So by popular request, I've also added the relationship tab so we can see a quick overview what everybody's relations are. So the red lines are direct blood relative, blue lines are relationships, and then green lines are, are friendships. So more or less everybody is good friends with Ohm. Ohm is not friends with anybody else though. Now there is a way we could get Ohm some friends, some relationships, and that is with the mighty power of the little red pill, Luciferium. The problem with Luciferium is Ohm lives for 2,500 years. Uh, we have 17 Luciferium. You need to administer Luciferium ideally every five days, but you can every six days safely. But obviously, you run the risk of, of if you do have like a, a particularly long raid or whatever, you can miss the dosage even at six days. I mean, 2,500 divided by six does not equal 17, tragically. Oh my god, that was a 2,500 point research. Wow. This is the most advanced thing we're going to do for... A very, very, very long time. Now, I've released a couple of prisoners. They were both pretty mediocre. And to be honest, I'd like to not get in combat with the elders anymore because they're, I mean, they're like really, really dangerous, especially when they start sending it with Berserk Pulse. And we're only going to take people if they're exceptional. We need exceptional skills to pass on to the next generation for a start. Yunyun, like I said, incredible amount of passions. And Noodle is very skilled in artistic melee. We've also got Lexi, who's very good at plants, and Rain, who's very good at construction. Along with Psychic Powers, we've got four potential recruits here. That's going to give us a quite sizable colony, especially for, for kind of this early in the, in the civilization. There it is. The most complicated research we have done. There's a reward. Ducks. How many ducks? Uh, no ducks, apparently. Where, oh my god. Ten whole ducks. Lay egg. Doc, do lay egg. Multi-generational doc colony. Now let's do all the essential thinking. Oh, another quest done. Let's do all the essential thinking to prepare for the medieval era. For example, flowers. Now this quest that we've just complete was supposed to be defending Cobra from two mechanoid raids. But because we are a primitive settlement, the mechanoids cannot be bothered. I'm glad that it works with quests, although granted that was kind of a bit of a free scummy quest. Though we did get a lot of elder raids, so I wonder if it sent elders instead to compensate for that. Because that was like a staggering amount of raids that we had. And that gives us Bonnie! I completely forgot we were going to get Bonnie out of that. Underground Apiromancer, the Sanguine Bloodlust, Prude, Straight and Tough. Very, very good traits across the board. No, I'm artistic. I'm really... I really don't want artistic, but you know what? Welcome. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's fairly safe to say everybody's had their trial by fire at this stage. So they have all earned a name given to them by Ohm himself. I decided not to rename Arcadius, uh, Alias, or Struperus because they, you know, they, they've been here for quite a long time. I think they've established themselves as they are. So we now have Bordun rather than Bandra Sullet, which is just a stupid fucking pun. Siala, the Volcanian. And finally, the baby is called Stumpy Slaghorn. The baby was called, what, Stinky? Or something like that? Stench? I think they were called Stench, but then when I turned them into a baby, they stopped being called Stench. Why are you sleeping on the floor? You can't sleep in a crib anymore because you're too large? Arrest the baby. No, don't arrest the baby. Hey, yo. Right on cue, we've got a new person. Yan Yan. Well, hang on. Am I misremembering? Did we not impregnate the guest before they left? What a bizarre question. Uh, you might be a father. Uh, Yan Yan? <laughs> gonna call you Siphon. You've already had your trial by fire because you've been beaten by Ohm. Over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Just over and over. Noodle's resistance has been broken. Along with his legs by Ohm, a benevolent leader. Cobra has given birth. Cobra is off the map. Does that mean that now... Hang on. Uh, social? Nothing. I guess we don't know. Ah! Oh, Stumpy Slaghorn grew up as a child. Incredible. Now old enough to work at the age of four. Wow. Yeah, we're really not pissing around with that, eh? Expanding out the farming operation because, honestly, feeding this many people is going to be a pain in the ass, and these ducks are absolutely annihilating our food supply. Another one. Rain. Hmm. No. No, I don't like that. Noodle as well. Have we emptied out the prison? Uh, it's everybody but everybody but Lexi. Now, the big problem we have right now is because a lot of these prisoners have been in the prison for quite a long time. Bordun is is 46. Plasma is 51. It's going to make it very difficult to have the next generation well, at all. I wonder if they can still get pregnant with the medical pr procedure. Let's try it. Eventually, we'll get enough colonists where we won't need to do this. But just to kickstart everything... We'll do a little bit of science. Do a little bit. Of, uh, Ohm will be the guiding hand of this colony. No, definitely not that one. Does it work? It does work. Now, we could make a sacrifice here and not pick a father. And instead, keep the genetic pool as varied as possible. Or we pick a father and give them more skills. I think let's just keep things... Nice and open-ended for now. It works. Fantastic. And plasma as well. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's good. There's only three options left. That means only one thing. Um, what in the fuck is that? Jacqueline. Hello. That's a, that's a hell of an outfit. Boots, a wedding dress, and a baseball cap. Jacqueline Hyde. Wow, you're really good. Uh, 30 melee. I mean, good for, from a combat perspective. Not so good for the caring firefighters, social, and animals being disabled. Construction 6, double passion. Intellectual 5. We could have you as a thinker. She is 64, though, so she's going to last all of about five minutes. <laughs> a transport pod with a goose called Blackbird. That's incredibly confusing. Now, here's a thought. Maybe a pretty important question I probably should have thought about a long time ago. Can... Room or characters even die of old age? I've never seen it happen. Because games don't... That, that's not how Room works. You you don't die of old age. You, you die from a raider shooting you or, or, or a horrible case of the plague. Maybe somebody pulls out your organs and then sells them. I don't know. You don't die of old age. Can you even die of old age? Friggin' hell. Uh, Stumpy Slaghorn is now old enough that possible addictions are no longer subdued. Well, that's good. Ah. Uh, well, I know what to do with all the rest of this land over here, then. Bang. Psychoid. Give them kids drugs. Is that it? Are we... Are we medieval? Are we medieval now? Base technology. Medieval. Oh, this is a, this is a great day for the colony home. You've done it. And I love that the first option is makeshift explosives. Spark weed. Oh, wow. We could build stone tiles. Soybean fermentation. <laughs> Explosives are not firearms. 
So I'm okay with this. I'd love to get actual walls. Actual walls and maybe castle walls, barricades, ramparts, whatever. Something to, to start building this up into a proper stone city. But of course, if we're going to do that, we're going to need to start getting a lot of people moved over to stone cutting pretty fast. Then we can gather pebbles, which we've been using for the uh, for these kind of pebble pebble pathways. We could just gather a shitload of marble pebbles and build marble walls out of that, but it's it's not very cost efficient. We're talking hours and hours to get, you know, like enough resources for a couple of walls. Oh, no. Not old lady Jacqueline. She was an enemy agent. I needed you to find out if you could die from old age. Well, assuming that Ohm doesn't do too much damage, we'll keep you around to well, see if you die of old age, I suppose. Oh, uh, Tiala, please be... So, Ohm, what's cracking? Well, apparently it's Jacqueline's neck. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Please get that out of here. And still, we'll never know the answer. Oh! Holy crap. Hey, that's fantastic. That'll, that just, like, actually just happened, eh? Ah. Uh, yeah, wow. Look at that. To celebrate the happy news, explosives. Spark I, I honestly don't recognize half of this stuff. Septimum. Ultima fibers, okay. Striker? Tasty protein rich alien mushroom that can be used as a meat substitute. Oh shit. Wow. Uh this plant is only growing in dark environments. Okay, so we could put a we just put a roof over it. I'm not entirely sure. And then we got ra ragadast. The fruit shouldn't be eaten, but they are used for drugs manufacturing. Well, for the time being, we'll grow some spark weed. The next up we have the choice of cheese, soybeans, stone tiles, or Bush? I wonder if stone tiles leads to potentially walls. We'll go for that. That's a much better medieval aesthetic than a bunch of kind of pebble paths. What is that? Methodical research. What, what is that? Hold on. Methodical research. Establish a base means of survival. Allows for further specialization and technological advancement. Will that give us the simple research bench? Because that alone would be gigantic here. That's like a real technological breakthrough. God. Shit. What is wrong with you? <laughs> um. No, I wouldn't say it is actually. It's uh, That's really not going well for you. There it is. Methodical research. Now, can we build in the production tab a research bench? So you know, there it is. Simple research bench. We need 60 paper sheets, 15 glass, 75 wood. Okay, we've, we've actually got to jump through some hoops to get this. Okay, fine. We can actually build granite stone ovens, a step above a campfire. So if we build a couple of ceramic stone ovens, oh wow, it's huge. Ah, uh, we can put it up there, build a natural kitchen. Oh, look at that, there we go. We've got fine meals, the lavish meals potentially as well. We can make bit meals in bulk. Holy crap, that's a game changer by itself. If we could move this over to the other water pit, it's super, super, super inconvenient. It's the only other spot in the desert we can get clay from. I thought it was far more appropriate to have our architect replicator in the Great Church of Home. It's the only thing that looks like home, and it's a magic building that makes shiny rock. And a proper little community center built here. We could we could smash this wall through and have just this kind of central little courtyard. And turn this into one big building. We could do it with some more dining tables, given that we've got currently two seats for ten people. Oh, God, the ducklings. This is too much. Die. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, God, his pregnant wife proposed to him and he refused it. Oh, no. Wow, that's gonna... That's gonna really throw a spanner in the works. Tool crafting. Allowing everybody to work far more effectively. Or, I love that we can also get gunpowder. <laughs> Medieval? I suppose. So we can go for tools to make everybody work faster, or we could go for a fucking pyramid. I mean, it's an obvious choice. Lexi! Holy crap, we finally recruited everybody! Welcome, Lexi! Oh my god, she's 73! <laughs> finally! Looks like dying of old age is back on the table. Hmm, no. No, I, I don't think I will. Oh, looks like someone can at least die of old age. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just renaming Noodle to the far more appropriate name of Crunk, and I can't help but notice. Runic Bolt has a massive area of impact. The Runic Fire cannot be extinguished. Uh, 
It will help spread the normal fire in an abnormal way. Let's test this out then. Okay, just about as far away from the base as possible. And then we have to cast it on, on a thing. Oh, on a person. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. We can't cast on that. Is that like, uh, like an ostrich around or something? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Now we got to frantically build a bunch of cribs for all these damn babies. That's the other baby. There it is. <laughs> How far did it roll? What are you doing? Put the fucking baby in the crib. Thank you. Good Lord. We should arrange the colonist bar by their ages. We should probably take a look at these stupid babies and see. Oh, you, you don't know their skills or anything yet. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what did you end up with? Stuffy Slaghorn, the double passion in plants is nice. The animals is a bit pointless, but she's already got eight plants, double passion. This is why I didn't really want to add in a mod that made them, you know, learn faster. Because, I mean, she's seven. <laughs> she's already one of our best farmers. Oh, there's actual clothes for babies. Well, that makes so much more sense. Ah, oh, there you go. They've both recovered. Get back to work. Might move Stroopers over to childcare. 16 out of 20 skill on that, and there's no prisoners left to warden. And that would give Ohm the rest of his day back to do some real hard thinking. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea how to make glass, so I can't make any of the fancy thinking tables. Um, We're being sieged by ISIS. you got to be careful how you say that. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a medieval kingdom. Because we're medieval now. Or we're, we're going into the medieval era. Okay, this could be a problem. Look at you. What the hell are you wearing? Carbon fiber leather brigandine. A carbon fiber leather brigandine. Hold on a minute. Okay, we are absolutely outgunned here. Get your, get your little daggers. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to start working on some serious defenses now. No longer will a palisade wall haphazardly thrown around our buildings help out. <laughs> Oh, they're assaulting the colony. Okay, okay, okay. So let's... Is there any way the numbers will count for nothing? Not really. We could hide here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's go... Let's not put the child on the vanguard. Let's put the child, like, slightly uh, behind the vanguard. Well, that's off to an incredible start. Okay. Uh, I will have moved those guys there, and these guys are going to take this gate here. So if we just kind of... Just kind of position ourselves to try and bait a few over, that'd be, that'd be pretty ideal. We need more... More areas set up like this. Where we can have multiple people attacking the same target. Let's bring you guys over and reinforce. Because poor Lexi has been absolutely shredded already. Holy crap. Please, I need you to die of old age. Not like this. God, what is that? They've got fucking flintlock pistols. Well, this escalated rapidly. Hold the line. Hold the line. Lexi and Alias are really not doing okay. Come on, home. Maybe we can get out there and take out the one with the... Just say, say hello to Kim Jong-il to me. <gasps> Lexi's down. Hold the line. Hold the line. Ohm, get out there. Lexi, how you looking? Bleeding out in 12 hours. No permanent damage, though. Have we got any other good doctors yet in the colony? No. It's still Ohm. Okay. Uh, well, look, look, look. You rescue Lexi. You guys hold the line. You go lie down. Where are you going? Being the fire, I don't give a fuck about the fire while well, our walls aren't made of wood. So, okay, maybe I, maybe I do a little bit. Oh, I'm getting there. Don't just stand there and let yourself get shot, you weirdo. Take him alive. We can take him alive, though. Okay, or, or you know, don't. That's fine. Send up. What the? F a heater? Was that from the meteorite? I very much doubt they tried to siege us with a heater. Well, we took quite a, quite a bit of damage there. But nothing permanent. Well, except for... You losing an arm, but nothing permanent other than that. We do have herbal medicine now. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. <laughs> Stumpy. Poor sweet Stumpy has been marred by battle. What do you think of it, Stumpy? This place is kind of trashy. I wish I didn't have to look at all this. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, no. Do we have to build it at an art bench? Damn it, my pyramid. Look. Glasswork. We can make a better thinking bench. Oh, this is a really hard choice. Terraforming. So we can turn the desert into into soil. Potentially even rich soil eventually with herbalism. Or do we go complex furniture and allow us to build things that are a little more a little more stable rather than just some furs on some wood? 
Shit, this is a really hard choice. Um, Do we get... Look, we do get tool cabinets and things like that, so it allow us to work so, so much faster. Medieval vitals monitors for keeping our people alive. Wow, this is difficult. Uh, I think... Terraforming, though, would allow us to build actual walls. Full-on proper walls. Right now, the problem we've got is there's so much soft sand everywhere that we can't build a proper fortification. We can't put down... Say this building here, we can never put down a floor in here. Same down here, right? Because the sand is too soft. If we had terraforming, we'd be able to get around that. Ah. Go on. The furniture is fine as it is. It's okay. The furniture is acceptable. That's not a problem. Not being able to build proper stone fortifications when the time comes will be a will be a big, big problem. Oh! Today is City on the Meadow Day. Maybe, hey, before long it might actually be a city on the meadow. Is that Two years since since Ohm founded it. Well, two Ohm years, of course, for everybody else. Arcadius now is uh, 44. When what, what was Arcadius not 21 when we first got him? I think it was 20, actually. Wow. So in Arcadius time, we've been here for like... We, we must have been here for about, what, 20, 28 years at this stage? Because we didn't have Arcadius from the, from the start. I'm well aware that 21 years is not 28 years. Thank you. <laughs> Learn how to dig land, pick rocks, and use common materials to modify terrain. Okay. Huge. How do we do it? Uh, floors? Here you go. Destabilize sand. Use manual labor to grind sand into soft sand. No. Stabilize mud. No, no. I want to turn. Stabilize sand. Here we are. So we put wood. Okay, so yeah, look. Exactly that. We put the wood on the soft sand to turn it into regular sand. Then how do we make sand into soil? Uh, Likings gives marsh to marshy soil. Rich soil. So if you put kibble on, okay, got it. How do we make sand into soil, though, if that's even possible? Stony soil. Okay, it's not that one. Packed dirt. It's not that one either. We must be need way more advanced research than this, then. Because the, uh, the, the, the the soil job converts stony soil into soil. And then these are all kind of various different soils to other soils. Same with the sand. Okay, well, look. At least we can now stabilize the sand that we've got going on here and, and build a proper proper floors in this workroom. We are going to need a huge amount of wood for that. So I've got some more cactuses being grown here. But our agriculture is um already kind of out of control. Maybe we don't need so much cycoid. I mean, shit, what can we even do with cycoid right now? Somebody came up with a great idea. Somebody said, why not take the Cosmic Catalyst fuel cell, dig it into the mountain and detonate it so that we could eventually potentially build say, uh, a, a, a castle into the side of the mountain. I don't know quite how we would detonate it, though. It's a positive super hazard. Not vulnerable to fire. It does not combust. So if we... Often by nearby explosions. Okay, so we could use Krunk's maybe runic bolt power? Although, hang on, hang on, hang on. What am I talking about? We've got a whole field of explosive plants. Oh, well, oh, well, that's something. Wasn't really what I was expecting, but that's a, that's a good start. The mighty home has decreed that the purple cell that glows in a strange way and makes us grow extra arms is heretical. Explosive pouch. Here we are. A primitive explosive charge made from volatile powder mixture wrapped in animal leather. Places a building from the explosive meaning to use. We can detonate it from a distance. Oh, well, I was just going to use a sacrificial child. I mean, um, Oh! Oh. It's flammable. Not only is it flammable, it can self-combust. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please put out the fire on that field. That seems like a... Fuck. Ah. Uh, maybe go away. Struppers. Struppers! For God's sake, run! Is that bad? A heat wave. A baby! Not another one! Seems if the plants themselves don't explode, only the material from the plants. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a real problem. They do spark. They do spark. Stumpy. Oh, no. This is a nightmare. What was I thinking? Should we just let it burn? Because all our people are getting horribly... They're horribly burnt here. Look! Arcadia's just caught fire! Rainy thunderstorm. Rainy thunderstorm, thank God. Um, quick question. Where is the baby? <laughs> I know we've got a slight fire problem going on right now, but holy shit. Leaving your baby in a field of cactuses seems like just poor parenting. 
Okay. I think it's under control. Now we just hope that this rainy thunderstorm doesn't hit the field of explosives. I guess that means we should really maybe build somewhere to put all of this shit to. Okay, well, we could put it in here. The walls are ceramic and the floor is sand. Bunch appended with thinking hut. Explosive house is my new best friend. Oh, massive. It's all working. Crafting station, crafting workbench. Food prep stations. Hi, see it. Wait, what is a harpoon do? Is that for catching fishes? No, it's for catching people. That's also fine. Oh! Stumpy! Ohm! What the fuck happened? I mean, I feel like burn is, um... Oh my god, the lightning. Hey, maybe it also combust, because we're also in a heat wave. This was... This was so dangerous. The powder ignites on contact with air, producing hot sparks that can set fire to the surrounding area. Good. Good, this was really, this was really well thought out. <laughs> These conversations are legendary. Stumpy Slycorn, I was thinking, what is the meaning of life? I haven't the slightest idea. I'll be honest, Stumpy Slycorn, I'd be, I'd be pretty pissed off if I were you as well. Wow. It's like full body burns. Wasn't too bad. 10 out of 15, 13 out of 20. She was had a nose burn off. Oh, this sucks. I hate these plants. It's the FSX from Combat Extended all over again. Oh my god, we've done it. Reinforced structures. This house to make castle walls. We can make crenellated parapets. That's close enough. Actual full-on walls and doors. Oh, we're going medieval. Well, with that incredible revelation, I'm happy to leave it there for today. What have you made that child wear? Yeah, I think I think that's a good sign. We should probably end it there. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, we go full-on medieval era. We can rip down all these basic ceramic walls, all of these heat-treated clay houses, and we go full-on stone. Maybe we should also build a school. Maybe we'll expand the borders. Maybe we'll build a bigger town, because I think we're probably going to need it at this point. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the many multi-generational adventures of Ohm and friends. A big thank you, of course, to the patrons, without which I wouldn't have time to produce hours of content. Go watch the second channel if you're not. Play Noita. Noita is very fun. Uh, if you like watching things explode, which evidently you do, otherwise you wouldn't be watching RimWorld. You might, that might be of interest to you. Uh, we're also playing sc some of the weirdest fucking Skyrim mods I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we punched a, the devil himself in the head the other day. That was interesting. Thank you to Dirt Nerd, Jack Black Sheep, Isolated Rogue, The White Fox God, Feral House Cat, Chris, King Snitch Gaming, Adam Spleen, Gammon Jude, That Gay Commie, Kekvit Array, Mr. Chakotay, and Arabs as well for their support the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. A thank you as well to Aragon Awesome, Huntsman, Marcel, Hadkim, Juniper Barry, Squid Eater, McGruff, Kingshot, Astros Fan 12345, The Other 18 Covids, Callum James 3, Huderman, Wifty, Oyazan, Noximortalis, and Sparky Fan 1. 